when I was younger, I wish I had the same mentor, the same coach that would teach me these life skills on and off the court. I'm Ben Bromley. I'm the head varsity girls basketball coach here at Armwood High School. I've been coaching at Armwood this my 10th year. I've been a boys JV coach for the last nine years. I uh, was given the opportunity to take over the girls program in, uh, this past April. This was my first year. We uh, put a lot of hard work in, uh, a lot of big changes. Like I, uh, I'm about pressure, playing a lot of defense, man to man, stuff like that. So of course you gotta be in excellent shape to be able to play that kind of defense, uh, especially if you're trying to play it for 32 minutes on the girl side. I think that was our identity this year, was the pressure of our defense, uh, speed the other team up, uh, cause them turnovers, make sure we're getting more shots at the final of the game than the other team. Usually with more shots, you're gonna get more makes, more makes, more points, more points than the other team. It's a victory. Honestly, like, he's one of the best coaches I've ever had, and I've done been coached by a lot of people. And he just stands out. He's so driven. You can tell he actually likes what he does. He doesn't just come here to just coach and go home. Like he puts his he puts passion into this. He puts love into this. And this is like the only group of girls I've seen actually have the utmost respect for a coach for no reason. Like when he walks in the room, we all quiet. He don't gotta tell us to be quiet. Like we listen when he talks. We don't talk while he's talking. Like he just got all our respect. I really respect him. The, the girls bought in. Uh, to playing that kind of defense and to being in shape and uh, along, along with that a lot of good things happened this year uh, Lost our first game of the season After that went on a 25 game winning streak. That's never been done here at this school uh, won our district You know our season came to an end uh, in the regional championship game wasn't the way we wanted it to turn out but to go 25 and 2 first year out with a whole new concept of how we want to do things, what we want to do and everything, I think is a very big accomplishment. And I give it all up to the girls because they bought in, they didn't have to buy in, but they bought in, they fought hard, they did what I asked them. And you know, I was just so proud of them and so happy with what they succeeded this year. And uh, they get all the credit and everything and I'm just so happy and proud of them. My name is Anaya, <laughs> Anaya Jenkins. Um, I play power forward slash center post position and I graduated in 2020 so I'm a junior right now. Coach Ben knows how to make the game fun. He knows how to push us to our limits but not break us and if he does break us he can build us back up and he just teaches me to whether it's five minutes on the court or 32 minutes on the court 30 seconds. However long I'm on the court make sure I give my all. Not 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 be able to look back and think well did I not like did I not give my all? Did I put my heart on the court for my team? So he's just, he's been a really big role model and I definitely took a lot from him this, him this year and I wouldn't want no other coach. A lot of times, man, that's what keeps me going. Uh, just the love of the game and stuff like that. And I love helping kids that want to learn that a lot of them have a gift that they don't even realize they've got and a talent that they don't even realize they've gotten until you try to help them see that and you try to help bring that out of them. And in turn, they can use that talent and that God gifted ability and that, that blessing that God gave them with to help get them a free education, you know, and that's what it's all about, trying to use that basketball as a tool and get a free education out of it if you can. And then that free education helps set you up for a better life. What means to you to be able to go to college and play college basketball? It'll be more of an accomplishment out of anything. I'll be so thankful I'll praise God first and my family and my coaches because I wouldn't be here without them. Uh, going to college, playing the sport that I love, is amazing like it opens so many doors it's like it's crazy so I'll get to do my uh, my minor sports medicine and I get to work on my major doctorates in college for free while playing basketball so it's the three things that I want to do so that's like paradise uh, as far as some players from this past season we only had one senior uh, Jalen Sperlin she was co-conference player of the year uh, first team all-conference. Uh, she's already committed to Anderson University in South Carolina, uh, where she's got a full ride to go up there and better her education with basketball as the tool. Uh, we have a very talented sophomore here who still is learning the game and has no idea how good she can be in Taviana Habib. Uh, first team all-conference her freshman and this past year. I mean, and, and the sky's the limit with her. She just really is still learning the game. And once her IQ catches up with her athleticism, uh, I can see several schools coming after her very easily.
My name is Angelina Aberine. I'm a freshman and I'm a point guard. Coach Brown is one of the most selfless people I've known and he's probably the best coach I've ever had. Um, he dedicates so much of his time to like get us better and to make us like just better people, to make us understand. And honestly, without him, I don't think we would have made it as far as we did. What is the ideal successful season besides just winning a championship? What is the ideal successful season to you besides winning the championship? A successful season is not away from winning a, a, a state championship or a region or a district or anything like that. It's for the girls to get better on your last day from their first day. So if you see that gradually, them getting better every day, every practice, every game, from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, that is successful because some of these kids come in not playing middle school because our middle school ball around here is very, very limited, not playing travel ball because a lot of them don't have access or the finances to play travel ball. And so they're really not learning the game. So sometimes you get a kid in here that is gifted and athletic, but they know nothing about the game because they haven't been able to play or they haven't been taught properly. So if you're able to teach them and you see them per progress day after day and get better by the end of the season, to me, that's a success too. And also, you know, them graduating high school. That's a big thing. They gotta be able to graduate high school because you can be the best basketball player in the world, but if you can't get that diploma and have a GPA to where you can use that tool, you know, it's, it's just a wasted gift.